What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the exploiter passive making a return to the Elder Scrolls Online. Now depending on how long you've played the game you may or may not remember this passive but it was in the game until the recent CP overhaul. So when they overhauled the CP Zoss decided to get rid of Exploiter. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. Also check out the merch store that is linked in the description as well. If you enjoy the video, I would appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up. It does help me out a lot. And if you enjoy the content here on the channel and you have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that sub button as well. Now, when it comes to the Exploiter passive, it was a bit overpowered in the past. And that was one reason that Zoss did decide to go ahead and get rid of it. But with the High Isles chapter, Exploiter will be returning. In the High Isles, uh, in the High Isles chapter, the Exploiter champion ability will grant you 10% extra damage output against enemies that are off balance status effect. Enemies are set to off balance, of course, with a heavy attack is blocked. Of course, that does not work against bosses or anything like that. And you also can be put off balance with elemental blockade and a few other abilities in game. So what this means now for uh, this in general, it's not going to be a passive like it was in the past. Exploiter is being reintroduced as a slottable champ champion ability. And you only, of course, can only have four of those slotted at one time. So it's going to be in there with things like your fighting finesse, your backstabber, your master at arms. And of course, a lot of the other others we have available to us with a cooldown of off balance, you are effectively only going to get around a boost of 3.5% to your DPS, even if the status effect is applied on a cooldown every time. And I think with the reintroduction of this and the way things have changed over time since it was in the game before as a passive with all the new CP, with all the changes to off balance and whatnot, I'm not really sure if it's going to be something that a lot of people are really going to take advantage of like they did maybe in the past. Once again, like I said, you're, you're looking at things like Backstabber, Fighting Finesse, Master at Arms, your Thermitage, all those that are in that tree are used a lot. A lot of people use it. Some of, you know, maybe more than four, they might have one, one or two extras they throw in at times. And I'm not really sure if the reintroduction of this ability is going to be something that a lot of people are really going to be looking at using now. Is Exploiter really going to be as good as it was in the past? I'm not really sure. I, we do know that it has been changed. We do know a lot of other things in games ha in the game has changed. And I'm just not really sure if Exploiter is going to be as useful as it was before, you know, the reintroduction of CP and how they changed everything over the, really the last year. So I'm kind of curious, are you guys excited to see Exploiter be reintroduced into the game? Will it be something that you're looking at using? Um, I really don't, like I said, I really don't honestly see myself using it unless I can find some type of situation where I really would think it would be something kind of in a niche spot. But overall, I think it's going to kind of be left alone until Zoss decides to maybe up the damage output or change something about off balance in general we'll kind of have to wait and see i know they're trying to get away from it being as strong as it was before that it wants to be overpowered but i think reintroducing it in the state that it is in now it's not going to be quite as good or really at all as good as it was in the past and i'm not sure if anyone is really going to be using it like i said as much as it was used before leave me a comment with your thoughts and of course if you like the video hit the like if you hadn't subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you next time peace